Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing very, very well today. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley Jade and today I have a brand new video for you all. So today I'm going to be reviewing the new Reel of My Revolution Dancing Queen collection. I saw this online as soon as it dropped and I knew I had to get my hands on it. Not only for the name of the collection, but the line looks gorgeous too. I love the vibe of it. So I want to get started and show you everything that I've got and do an overall review, swatches, try on, things like that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, leave me a little comment. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because it means so much to me. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> those of you that may not know, Real of My Revolution is one of Revolution's brands. It's their more affordable brand but still incredible quality. So everything in the brand all ranges from £5 and under which I think is so good and it's just good to be more affordable because it's more inclusive people. So the new collection is the Dancing Queen collection. I picked up two things from this collection. So I've got their highlight and I also got the palette. I'm so excited to try these, so I want to get started, I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're going to try them. So we're going to try the highlight first, this is just a little overview of what it looks like. Then when we take out the packaging, this is the product itself. I am obsessed, so I really wanted the Monsters University collection, this is a little bit off topic but I really wanted the Monsters University collection. Couldn't afford it at the time, I waited, and now the majority of it is all sold out. I'm going to keep an eye on it in case it comes back, but it's pretty much all sold out, so I couldn't get it. One of the things that I really wanted was the squishy blush, because I just love the novelty idea of that. This is like a squishy highlight, so you can like press down on it. I'm not going to press down too hard, because I was having a little look and a little play with it before the video. And I realised that the reason it's squishy is because that's how you push the product out. So I don't want to do that and then it just explodes everywhere. But I love the design of this. Love the acrylic effect. A lot of the Real of My Revolution collection has like an acrylic effect on it. I love the lip products by them. And I think that looks so cute. So this is the Champagne Vibes Highlight. They have two different highlights and a lip gloss all in this style. I actually got mine from Superdrug because I didn't want to have to pay for the shipping from Revolution. So I thought I might as well get it from Superdrug as one right around the corner from me. So I got it from there but they only had one shade of highlight there, this one. The other one is more of a gold tone which I think that one kind of would suit the champagne vibes name a little bit more. But... It is what it is. So the highlight is £5, which I'm not going to lie. I was expecting the highlight to be a little bit cheaper because I paid £4 for the palette. And you think for a palette it would be more expensive than the highlight, but I'm guessing it's the packaging that goes into it that makes it a bit more pricey. So when we open it up, it's got this applicator. It looks like a lip gloss applicator. Let's squeeze a little bit onto the back of my hand. So just got a little bit out there. It is more of an iridescent glittery highlight. So let's just do a quick swatch. A little bit, as you can see, it goes a very, very long way. Looks gorgeous though. Let's apply some of this to my face. It actually does have glittering, as you can feel. It's very, very light. It's like a very, very light, a very, very gentle exfoliant. You can feel the, the gritty bits, but I won't say it's a bad thing. Oh, well, that is pretty. Let's get a little bit more. So it's quite a glow makeup look anyway. So I don't want to mistake that for the glow of the highlight. But look at that. I think that is absolutely stunning. So compared to that side there, you can see where that highlight is. And I can't believe how well that's blended in gorgeously into my skin. Okay, let's do the other side. I want to see how well it applies if we apply it straight to the face. I found this a recipe for disaster because it is quite liquidy. I'm so scared. Okay. I'm not going to put too much on because as we learned a minute ago, a little bit goes such a long way. I feel like I have put too much on, but I'm just going to tap it out instead of like blending it. It's so pretty. You can't really see the glitter when it's on your face, which is a good thing. You can It just kind of like all goes into a gorgeous glow. It's got an iridescent look, so it's quite silver, and then you move your head and it looks quite pinky. I absolutely love it. I'm going to apply a little bit on my nose, not a lot, just a tiny bit. 
Oh, it is so pretty. Okay, I really like that. I think that's really nice. It's very different. I don't normally go for a liquid highlight because I do prefer powder highlights. Or like the gel glaze. I love like the jelly highlights. But that, I really like it. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. You can't see where it ends and like the rest of the makeup starts, which is usually my problem with liquid highlights. I struggle to blend them. But I think it's blended seamlessly and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Next, onto the palette, which I said before, this was £4. So you get nine shades in here. That's what it looks like. Let's open it up. Oh, it's still sealed. I think it looks so cute. So this is the Dancing Queen Disco Ball palette. I think that's what it's called anyway. I know it's definitely a Dancing Queen palette. Why can't I open? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so we've got the little protector sheet, which shows you all the shade names. And this is what it looks like. It is beautiful. I love the colour story. I think if I change anything about it, I'd have more mattes to shimmers because we've got these three main... No, wait, I can't do this. It's backwards. <laughs> I've got this, 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 which are the three main mattes. You've got these three, which are kind of like glittery shimmers. And then these three here are still shimmers. They look matte, but they are still shimmers. I've got that bit of shimmer to them. So I think we could do with maybe some more mattes in there, but with it being like a glittery themed palette, like I get why they've done it. So let's try it out. I'm so excited. I'm just going to prime my eyes first because I haven't actually done that yet. I'm just going to use the Fast Base Concealer from Revolution because why not stay on brand? I absolutely love this concealer. I think it is gorgeous. I love the formula. I love the applicator to it. I was just so sad because I used it so much the first time I got it because that's my second one now. And I used it so much that it ran out within like a week. And it made me so sad because it was like £8 for that concealer. So now I've kind of learned not to use it every single day. Because if I do like three or four makeup looks a day, it can go down so quickly. Okay. I'm going to go in with... Which one should we use first? I'm kind of feeling this one here. It's really pretty pink. I'm using a Morphe JH35 brush. It looks very, very pigmented. Okay, I'm quite excited for this. I feel like I've done a lot of like pinky purple looks at the moment. But I just don't care. I'm so excited to try it. So I'm just going to run that through my crease. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at how bright and bold that is. So I'm focusing more on the middle to outer corner. Oh, that is so nice. I absolutely love that. So I'm having to start on thinking about my Halloween content, which is quite hard when I am trying to do so much to kind of catch up on what I've been missing out on because I feel like I've not had, I'm doing the same thing with the other eye by the way, I feel like I've not had much time to film because I was on holiday for two weeks, I've been doing some London trips here and there, and then I've had COVID for the best part of like 10 days, I've been very poorly with COVID, and then just I was feeling better from COVID, I had two overnight shifts to do, and now I'm like trying to catch up on all the ads that I haven't done because I've been poorly. I didn't put as much on this time because that was very, very pigmented. Um, so I'm just trying to catch up on like life and just everything right now. And I'm trying to catch up on September content. And I've got October like spooky season content to start doing as well. So like it's a lot. I'll be honest, it is, it's a lot. But I'm excited for it. I'm really excited to like do the whole october -y thing. Like, I love spooky season. Like, last year was my first proper, you know, really going all out for the makeup. So, I feel like I've got a top last year. But at the same time, it is, it's so hard. I'm not, I'm not a makeup artist, but I do try. So, I'm going to go with the shade here, which is a nice, light, kind of, like, morphe pink. And I'm tickling this just around the edges of what we've just applied. Just, like, a little transition shade to help blend that out. That is so nice. I'm using the same brush as well. That is so pretty. Just around those edges. I will swap brushes in a minute. This is just to help the blend. So I've recently bought a collection by Revolution, which I'm pretty sure is brand new. I haven't seen it anywhere yet. Um, apart from I've just seen it in store in one place, I've just bought it. And I don't want to do a review on it yet because I'm waiting for it to come out before I do the review. I'm just taking a Real Techniques Angled Shadow Brush. I'm going in with that same shade again and we're doing the exact same thing. 
but I don't want to do the review until the product is out. But I'm going to be away for a week now, so I don't, I don't know, I feel like I need to film it now in case the product drops while I'm away. But at the moment, I've already done all of my content up to the end of September. So, like, it's just been so intense. Like, I have no idea when this video is going to go up. I have absolutely no idea. Also, this product is blending out like an absolute dream. This is one of the reasons I love Real Love products, because they're so much cheaper than regular Revolution. But the quality is... It's still there. It really is. I think one of the things as well is... You never get like the extras, like you don't get mirrors in most of them and you know it's more clear acrylic packaging, like I think that's where some of the money they've kind of like shaved off there to make it more affordable but the quality of the products are like just as good. So I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit more of the dark pink on this side because this one feels a little bit darker. Then we're going to move on and I want to put a little bit of purple in there I think before we play with the shimmers because... I'm really excited for those shimmers. I'm so excited for them. So I'm going to go in with that lighter shade that we we'll use with before. And I'm just applying that right in to my inner corner. There we go. It's so pretty. It's such a delicate shade. So on this side, just blending that in to the rest of the look. So we're going to go in with the purple. Should I put it like mainly through my crease or should I just do a little bit on the outer corner? I feel like I've done a, a look recently with a little bit on the outer corner, but I feel like that's how it's just going to look best. Let's just grab a bit of it. So this looks like it should be a shimmer, but it's got like, it's like a semi-shimmer in my opinion. So let's just place some on the outer corner and see. That is quite pretty. Do you know what? Let's just do it. So I'm going to pack some in to the outer corner and then I'm just going to run a little bit through like the outer third of my crease. But like just the crease. I love doing this trick though. Like I did it once with like blues and greens, and it's like still one of my favourite actual looks today. I just think it makes sure I look so much more open, wide, like I love it. It gives so much more definition to the look. Again, I'm just packing some in to the outer corner. So I've got these shades aren't as good as the fully matte ones, but I still really like them. Like they can just be used as mattes. Like I don't think you can see the shimmer in them there. Like you can see a little bit but not nothing major. So again going right through that crease. It's so pretty. And what I want to do is I want to do a bit of a cut crease I think. If I do a cut crease I should just kind of like blend it across. Do you know I think we're just gonna blend it across. So I've got three main shimmers to choose from. I want to use this one from all my inner corner area, but I'm kind of thinking this one or this one for the centre. Do you know what? I was going to do this one, but now I've seen it on camera, I think I'm going to go for this one here. So it looks so pretty. Do you know what? Should we mix them? Gorgeous. Let's mix. I think that's what we need to be doing. Let's put that right down the centre. Like oh, that is so nice. I love it. So I was going to aim to do more of a halo kind of cut crease with it, but now I'm kind of feeling just do like a normal cut crease and then blend it into that silver right in the inner corner because I think they're going to blend gorgeously together. You see what I mean there? You can see where that purple has kind of ended. I need a little bit more on this eye, I think, just to make them match because I did go a little bit further on my left. like that. I love it. I feel like it's really coming together. Okay, let's go in with those shimmers again. I love the packaging. I keep looking at the packaging and I'm just obsessed with it. I think it's so, so pretty. See, when I'm on holiday, I think it's nice to have a bit of a break because I film every single day. Like, it's not like a normal 9 to 5 job, which I'm not complaining because I would not change my job for the world. Like, it's the best job on the planet. I love it. But it is nice to have a little bit of time off. But then when I come back into it, I realise how much I really have missed it. So we're going to go in with that silver now, which is this shade here. Oh, it looks so bright. I'm going to use this as an inner corner shimmer as well as sticking it over the inner corner part of my actual lid as well. Okay, I'll be honest, it looks a little bit more grey on the eye than I was expecting it to, but it's not a problem. We'll apply a little bit more and just be a little bit more accurate where we place it. 
you know what, that's pretty. I'll be honest, the silver shade was a little bit more disappointing because I was expecting it to be more of a bright silver, like a shiny silver than a grey. But it is still gorgeous. So this is the final look. I love it. I like it. It's definitely more on the purple scale than the pink because I was kind of trying to make it a little bit different to my last couple of looks. But I'm actually really impressed. I think it's so pretty. Look how easily those shadows blended out there. And it's really, really got a nice thing to my crease. They just look so pretty. They've really blended together, really come together. I'm going to do a little bit on my lower lash line. So I'm going in with the purple for the outer corner. And then for the centre, I'm going to use that dark pink. There and there. And then for the very inner corner, we're going to go with that really light pink. This is how it's looking. I am officially obsessed. I genuinely think that is such a good deal for like the money to get a four pound palette to be able to create this kind of eye look i think that is just insane i love the highlight i was very very shocked by the highlight i didn't expect to like it as much as i did but i just want to try something a little bit different and i'm actually blown away by it if i had to choose a favorite i'd find it really difficult because i think the highlight is so unique and it's not like many of the highlights that i've got it is so so different so i love it from that aspect and i love the packaging and just the novelty idea of it i think that's really pretty but I think for the money and for the value, I'd have to pick the palette because look at the eyeshadow that we've created with a £4 eyeshadow palette. Like you get nine gorgeous shades in here. The packaging is gorgeous and it was £4 as well compared to that one being 5 Like I feel like for value for money, you've got to go for the palette. But I'm so glad I bought that highlight. I might have to buy the other one in the Margoldi shade because that... Like, I'm so excited to try that one as well. It looks so pretty. But that is it. That's my full review on the new Dancing Queen collection from Real Love by Revolution. I really hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the collection, any of the collections you'd like me to try. Please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. And also, please do subscribe to my channel because it means so much to me. That's it for me today, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!